Hey there, First Coast fam. Welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Hattie B. Jamal, and we got a great show lined up for you today. But first, let's take a moment to acknowledge the fact that 2020 is officially behind us. I know a lot of us are excited about that, but with this new year ahead of us, we want to make sure that we kick it off right, and our guy Jimmy Marlowe is helping us out with that. The new year is here, which means a key word, New Year's resolutions. Now, a lot of people focus on health and wellness, maybe getting back into the gym, uh, starting a new diet, and just trying to be as healthy as they possibly can. Well, we've got someone here to help us out with some new uh, tips and ideas. Fitness and wellness expert Jamie Hess is going to give us a crash, court, crash course in a healthy start for 2021. So, Jamie, first of all, I've always heard the idea that you cannot beat a bad diet. So how important is meal planning in the new year? I mean, meal planning is so important, nutrition so important, just important to have those better for you options at the ready so you don't make a bad choice. And I always say, don't drink your calories. It's not worth it. That's not the place to write that check. So one of my favorite things to have on hand in my house is Zevia's line of beverages. So these are zero sugar, zero calorie beverages. They have sodas, teas, uh, an energy drink, which I love, and even a line of sparkling kids' beverages so parents can make a better-for-you choice for their whole family. Now, the great thing about this is that it's sweetened with stevia. So if you are on a low-sugar diet or maybe a doctor-recommended low-sugar plan, this will not raise your blood sugar, which is really so important, right? But you don't have to compromise on taste and flavor to have kind of all the fun and the variety, even if you are being mindful of those calories. So personal story though, I, when I was pregnant, Zevia saved my life. I was so nauseous. I had the morning sickness. I needed the ginger ale, but I wanted a better for you choice. So I like to say I was one of their first fans. I feel like I discovered them first. And that was when they just had their sodas. I fell in love. And it's been so fun to watch them grow. Now I'm a huge fan of the energy drink before my workouts or even just for a little afternoon boost. So zevia.com, you can find out more about this in a store locator near you. Well, I'm definitely going to have to go to that website and put in a big order because I love energy drinks, Jamie, but I'm going to go ahead and start the new year off in the natural way and get that one. Now, speaking of natural supplements and uh, immune boosters, let's talk about full body wellness. How can we, you know, support our systems from the inside out this year? Couldn't be more important, right? Especially this year. In fact, a search on Google Trends, it showed that the term immune boosting was one of the most highly searched terms on the internet in 2020. And mm -hmm. we can imagine why, right? For good reason. So one of my favorite products on my radar right now is something called B and U. This is actually a line of products derived from bees. How cool is that? So super healthy for you. They have things like these water soluble drops. I just put a few in my juice. They have throat spray. I always have that in my purse and some tablets, which are great for a little energy boost. The reason why they're so good for you is because they are all made with something called propolis. Now, propolis is a natural resin-like product the bees actually collect from trees to keep the bee colony free from things like bacteria, fungi, you know, parasites, viruses. Mm -hmm. And it does the same thing in humans. How cool is that? So these products are super high in antioxidants. And they're just great for immune boosting, which we could all use more of during cold and flu season. So you can learn more about this at bnu.com. That is so awesome, of course, sourcing it directly from nature. And we know bees, they are the pollinators of all. So, you know, I feel like that would be one of the reasons why we're able to get such nutrients from bees and what they produce. Now, let's move on a little bit to um, other tips and fitness suggestions that you might have for people, whether they're going to the gym or whether they're trying to, you know, stay uh, maneuvering at home. How can you help us out? Yeah, let's keep it simple, right? I hate the term resolutions. I like to talk about things that are actionable, maintainable, sustainable. Mm -hmm. So it should just be a daily practice. And you don't have to, you know, I'd say don't get Superman syndrome. You don't have to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Start where you are. <laughs> if that means 30 minutes of walking a day, great, but put it on your calendar. So you anchor your schedule around that. And I gotta say this, don't just do it for weight loss, do it for your mental health. In fact, studies show that people who are physically active have a 30% decreased risk of dealing with mental illness like depression. And that's something so many people mm. dealt with in 2020. So let's just set ourselves up mm -hmm. for success in 21. Right. Expert Jamie Hess, we thank you so very much for these tips, tricks, and ideas to start off the year in a healthy way and continue for the rest of the year. Folks, of course, this information is going directly to firstcoastliving.net.